Hello, and welcome to How to Solve a Rubik's Cube in 30 Seconds. This is an additional part to this multi-part series of How to Solve a Rubik's Cube in 30 Seconds. If you've watched up to here, this part five, you know the method that we're using is to solve all of the X's on every side, and then to start filling in all of the edges. I call it the X's and O's method. And if you've, as we finished in part four, we finally finished the X on this side, and the X on this side. And the only thing left in part five was to do the middle four. Now in part five, I've showed you two moves that help you get these final four pieces into place. But in fact, there was a total of four possible moves that you could do. So this video is going to show you the other two. In one of the videos I showed you, in part five, I showed you how to take a piece and move three at a time. Move this one from here to here, from this one to here to here, and this one from here to here. Also in part five, I showed you another move, which was I've, I moved two pieces over. I flopped this top one, this blue and white one, so that it was the right way, and I flopped this one, so it's the right way. In this particular move, I'm gonna show you how to do it if you actually have that problem both here, 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 and here. In a speed competition, you don't wanna to have to do that series twice. And if only there was a way that you could just do it one time and solve all four. So that's the move that I'm going to show you here. Uh, if you don't remember the series of moves I did for flopping this and flopping this, go back and just watch the original series, part five, which is how we actually finish the cube once and for all. Now we're going to do a move that solves this when you need to do it on all four sides. Okay? So, just as we, we're going to hold it just as we did the other way, which is we're going to hold it with the completed one side on this side, the completed other one on this side, and normally I'd say you put the two that need to be flopped up on top, but in this case, since all four need to be flopped, it doesn't really matter how you hold it. And what's interesting about this move I'm going to show you is that it's only eight moves long, and it solves and it flops four, but it it's actually doesn't solve all, uh, flop all four in the middle. It actually, weirdly, flops this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now the problem with this move is while it's going to flop all four, three of these need to be flopped, one of them don't. So what you have to do just before you start the move is you have to move this piece up here. And as soon as you move this piece up here, you can do this simple eight move piece. It will flop all four, and then you'll have to move the piece that's there back to there. So to move that piece, you want to slide it over, slide it up. So now it's there, slide the bottom back, okay? And now what you're going to do is you have this piece that you want to solve, this piece you want to flop, this piece you want to flop, and this piece you want to flop. You start by turning the back once, come on cube, middle up, two, back once, three, middle up, four, back once, five, middle up, six, back once, seven, middle up, eight. Now, as you can see, this is solved, this is solved, this is solved, and this is solved. But now what we have to do is put this piece back. And we have to put it back exactly the same way that we did, which was we turned the bottom in, we turned this one down, and we turned him back. And there you go. Essentially what we've done is we've done this move where we've turned these twice. So if you have any... Now what makes this difficult is that you have to remember how to move that fourth piece here into this position and then move it from here back. So just to sort of remind you how we did that again, we turn the back. Now that piece is here. We turn it up so it's here and then we just turn the back again. And now with this is still our back face and we're going to start by actually turning the back face one two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. All I'm doing essentially is turning the back face, turning the middle, turning the back face, turning the middle. Now we've done that. We just have to put back, turn it back, turn it down and turn it back and we're back to where we started. We've got the four that need to be flopped again. So that's the first move that I'm going to teach you. The second move I'm going to teach you of the four moves that you could possibly do is what happens if this piece and this piece are correct because of the top because of one but wrong because of the other. It's a little hard to see because of the coloring but that's an orange between two reds. That's a red between two oranges and over here we have the same problem. We have a red between two oranges and we have an orange between two reds. So what we need is to flop four pieces. We need to move this one here and this one here and at the same time we need to move this one here and this one here. And what we'd like to do in a perfect world is keep the sides solved because if we could just move this piece here and this piece here, keeping the green up here, keeping the blue here, the cube would be solved. So this is how, this is the fourth move of all four moves in this, that part five that will show you how to solve this. You put the top face up, bottom face down, you put the two that mismatch in front of you so that you're going to swap this one with this one and you move the center down two, turn the bottom twice, move the center up two, turn the bottom twice. Now you have a completed side, completed side, completed side, and completed side. So you've solved the cube. So in part five, I showed you two moves that moved these four centers around. And now I've showed you another move that moved those four centers around. Between these four moves, there is no other combination that will come up. It will always solve those four center pieces. If you have any questions, please feel free to write me. Please. Uh, drop me a note, give me a like, please subscribe. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon.